So this is a SAS-3 model by Cochlear. It's got a Bluetooth pairing button and then a mono and stereo button on it. And this Bluetooth pairing button can be set up for multiple channels. The simplest thing is probably just to uh, press it um, uh, once and then it will set up for channel one. There's more, in, there's more uh, videos online about this. I'm just covering things that I didn't find online. This is an RCA jack, which we're not using. There's an optical cable here we are using in this application with, um, this is just a standard USB um, mini um, used for power only. The most, the input that we're gonna be using here is um, the output from the TV is an optical, which is right here. There's a little door here that you can use. And we'll show you real quickly what's going on with the TV. Um, hopefully yours will have an optical interface. That's what I had to have here. And then um, we've got a, um, sorry, the optical interface is right here. Let's see, it's optical. And then there's USB. Um, we're only using that for power in this case. Um, they, they do recommend that you use their own power supply, but we're just powering it with a TV right now. So, uh, then what you have to do is put the TV in a, uh, a, a, this is a Samsung TV and you have to put that in optical mode. So the next thing you have to do is change the sound output on your TV to optical and by default, it's set to speaker, not optical, um, but the, you have to change it to optical right here. So this one, what, what you need to do when you're pairing this, you have to turn, uh, you have to turn this off, or you basically turn this off, right? And then you press this uh, button here. And the way you turn this off is you screw this, you unscrew this battery um, the problem is, um, we need to set this into streaming. So anyway, once this thing gets set up, it's pretty easy and you can follow the instructions online for pairing. But, um, what the next thing we have to do is, is, is set up, uh, this for streaming. And, um, once it gets set up, once it's paired, this will, one of these lights will flash real fast. And once you power this hearing aid on, it's going to, once you screw the, uh, the battery back in, it's gonna be in a solid state, uh, approximating this. And then <clears throat> what's gonna happen is the hearing aid, this is a, a Nucleus 7. What's gonna happen is at that point, um, you should be able to press these volume buttons and, and the person is gonna be able to hear a little click in here. And then you're gonna know that this and this is working. All you have to do is enable the streaming. The next step to enabling the streaming, what you have to do is press this button here and you see how it has TV mode and uh, on or off. So what you wanna do is you wanna press the TV mode and that will stream to the, to the hearing aid so use the 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 um, app here, the Nucleus app to um, you know turn on and off the uh, TV when you want it, and then you could also adjust the volume, but I don't recommend that. This this volume is set for um, um, my dad's, um, you know, when people he talk to him and you know the regular hearing aid. And that may be different for, for the TV. And I think it's best just to leave this at the default volume. And in this case, he chose a number three. Instead, what you have to do is just tune, tune the volume on this thing. Um, that's what you're gonna have to do. And it probably will just stay wh where it is. There is a remote for this, but you probably don't need it.